The date, the 24th of May, 1992. The golden age of the original DTM. Then, as now, Audi, BMW and Mercedes-Benz were engaged in a three-way fight to be the dominant force in German touring car racing. The fifth race weekend. Traditionally, the motorsport festival over the short track configuration in Hockenheim would make DTM history. Mercedes-Benz dominated qualifying, with cars from first to sixth on the grid. Klaus Ludwig took pole, followed by Keki Rosberg and Ellen Lohr in the silver Mercedes-Benz 190E Evo 2. Following the rolling start, eventual champion Klaus Ludwig retires early on and the race develops into a battle for victory between teammates Rosberg and Law. The 27-year-old from Munchengladbach had shot to attention in the previous race with second place at the Nürburgring. Her finest hour was to follow. With two laps to go, Law overtakes the former F1 driver, albeit with a very unladylike maneuver, and carves her name into the series annals forever. She was the first and remains the only woman to win a race in the DTM. A standing ovation from the grandstands and a sober and unemotional analysis from the winner. I knew he was on softer tyres, but his strategy didn't quite pay off. He wanted to go clear in the lead and make sure no one could catch him. But I knew his tyres would get worse and worse towards the end of the race. So I took my time and waited for my chance. Ellen Law and her DTM triumph. An unforgettable moment in the 30-year history of the DTM.